Hey guys. Hi everybody and welcome back to our August 2019 Disney haul. Are you excited? I am. We got a lot of stuff in front of us. Yeah, with you I guys. mean for only being there for two full days. Yeah, it's pretty much two days. Yeah, three nights. We bought quite a bit of stuff so we're excited to show everybody what we got. I think to start we'll do the things that we got for free or that were included yeah. with things that we did. Um, so to start, we did upgrade our hotel stay at the Coronado Grandestino Tower to a club level room. Yes. And in their club level, their club level is called Kronos Club. And we did take some of the Kronos Club <laughs> coasters home. I don't know if you wanna lean in and show yeah. what those look like. So I love coasters. Um, that's gonna get pretty apparent probably if you guys get to know us a little bit better. We have coasters everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you guys what these look like. So this is from the Kronos Club and it does have two sides. Both sides are pretty cool looking there. And we just grabbed a handful so that we can have them out. Yeah, we have a little tray that we keep on our coffee table and we have a couple coasters from the Edison from one of our last trips. And yep. after we did that, we we're like, oh, why don't we just take a couple from like places that have really cool coasters mm. because they're gonna throw them out anyway. And uh, yeah, they're disposable. They're like a napkin for a table. So. Right. And we, we probably need to figure out a way to preserve them so they mm -hmm. don't get like water rings on them. We haven't gotten that far yet. Basically, <laughs> we just leave them in the tray and don't use them. Yeah. But yeah, so that's the first thing we got. And then on the very last day on our way out of the um, club level, they did have chocolates everywhere and Dan loves chocolate. So they had these big jars of chocolates and so Dan grabbed a handful of this Ghirardelli. Yeah, they were a dark chocolate Ghirardelli. They are really good. And they just had a bowl of these um, on the table or on your way out. They also had them in the club as well. They put out different snacks and different treats at different times. So That was like the one thing you could like grab and take with you, which yeah. with a dog, we do have to be careful that we don't yeah. leave them around because dark chocolate's very dangerous to dogs. Mm -hmm. So we did make sure to put those up at a high spot when we got home. But yeah, that was a, a good grab on the way out. <laughs> and the other thing we did on our trip was do the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, which mm -hmm. We went to the first party of the year, so that was really, really cool. That was awesome. Yeah. And the one thing that they do for the Halloween party is you go trick-or-treating. They have trick-or-treating trails all over the park, and they're really cool. They just, you walk in and they give you big handfuls of candy, but to start the party, you actually walk down a tree trail and they give oh, you a man. bag. So this is our bag <laughs> of candy that we got. I'll let this in. So we I'm did get frozen. two bags. Um, we did combine all the candy into one bag. So this was just the candy from, I believe, the tree trail that you did when we walk in, the one by Pirates of the Caribbean, and mm -hmm. the Monsters, Inc. tree trail. Yeah. So it's very full. Yes. All sorts of different things. Um, they gave you this when you were first starting the tree trail on the way in. Um, we both got one. The other one's probably buried. And then just different things like Skittles and all sorts of fun candies, M&Ms, Snickers. So this sucker we actually got when we were waiting for the Boot to You parade. Oh, the yeah. guy came up and he was just like, <laughs> Happy Halloween! So we each got a sucker, which is really cool. It's got a Mickey on it. It's a fun pop. And yeah, I really, these remind me of like the 90s for some reason. So <laughs> I was very excited to get these. Yeah. And then at the Halloween party, we also picked up the free Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom card. They do a special card. They're the same for every year, but each year, the Halloween party, the Christmas party, will do a special Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom card, playing card. Yeah. And so this one is the Phantasmal Fireworks Slash, probably because there's a new fireworks show this year. And it's very cute. It's got all the little characters on it. So this is the card that Chloe was just describing to you. All the characters on the front and then on the back. Sorcerers, Sorcerers of the Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. Which, if you don't know, Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom is a game that goes on within the Magic Kingdom. You go to, I believe, City Hall and Magic Kingdom and you pick up, they'll give you, I think, five to six cards to play with and there's different missions throughout the park. So if you are in Disney for a really long time or you're just looking for something new to do, it is a cool thing to do. Every time you go, they'll give you new cards. So a lot of people will bring like binders full of all their different cards. And then obviously the special ones that you can get at the parties. I think they, Dan waited in line for the card. Did they mark mm -hmm. off your wristband when they you did. picked it up? They put yeah. a mark on my wristband just to make sure that I wasn't picking up a second one. Yeah, so we could have picked up another one because I could have waited in line, but I was waiting in line for a photo pass. So we did just get the one card. We'll probably pick up another one when we go to our second Halloween yeah. party in September. Yeah, so I think that's all of, oh no. We do have a couple more coasters that we picked up from. I'd like to hold off on those for a different 
okay. section of merchandise that we're gonna share with you guys because it's really exciting. So I think it relates to that. So hold on, bear with us. <laughs> so the next thing we got was a couple of different pins. I guess since we were just talking about the Halloween party, we could talk about the Halloween party pin. So yeah. they do a special pin for each Halloween party as well. They're the same for every party, but each year they do a new one. So this is the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party limited release pin. Oh, wow. It's got all of the Mickey and Minnie and his friends. They're all trick-or-treating. So there's the pin there. Yeah, so we picked this up on the way into the Magic Kingdom, and I was able to use my annual pass discount, so that was really cool. It was... $15.99, but I did get 20% off. So definitely a must for the party. That was the only thing we did purchase um, party-wise. We are going to another one, so I was kind of holding off. That was just the one thing I definitely wanted to get. So the next pin that we got. Somebody's snoring. <laughs> if you hear snores, we have Joy over here. Oh, baby girl. Yeah, she's joining us. I just heard this loud snore and I was like, oh yeah, she's right there. <laughs> and she doesn't get to come on the trip, so she's seen all of our stuff that we got for the first time too. Yeah. Oh, baby. Good. Anyway, the next pin that we got was this Dalmatians pin. So if you saw any of the pictures from the Halloween party, I did go dressed as Perdita from the Dalmatians with a Cruella de Vil themed pair of ears. And the main reason that I dressed like that was that we did the Corella DeVille Halloween hideaway party, yeah, which cool. is a special ticketed event that you pay for on top of the Halloween party. And you get to go in and they have unlimited alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks, food. You did get to meet Corella DeVille, so that was really cool. Unfortunately, they didn't have a themed pin for that. So instead of getting a themed pin, we just got the Dalmatians pin. So it kind of works out that we'll yeah. always remember that that was what that was. Absolutely. And then the next pin that we got was a Coronado Springs Resort pin. It was the first time either of us have ever stayed at Coronado Springs. And yeah. we stayed in the Grand Destino Tower, as we mentioned, and it was really cool. Was I would awesome. definitely recommend staying there. The hotel is basically a deluxe feel for a moderate price. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But everything is amazing. Disney did not spare cost on any of the details. Definitely worth it, but yeah, so we had to get a pin so show you guys to that. commemorate staying there. And there's the Coronado Springs pin. Yeah, I really like that it's like Mickey ears, because, I mean, I don't think that's yeah. why they did it, but the Grand Destino Tower has hidden Mickeys everywhere, so <laughs> it was really cool to find them, like, look for them while we were in the hotel. Yeah. So I think that's really cool that the pin looks like that, because it definitely rem reminds me of that. Yeah, it was a cool pin. Yeah. So the last pin that we got was a Star Wars pin. We weren't really sure what kind of merchandise they were going to have. We did go to the Galaxy's Edge Star Wars previews for annual pass holders. We had awesome. no idea what they were going to have in terms of pins or merchandise, if they would even have like an annual pass holder pin. So we did pick up just a Star Wars pin and it has R2-D2 and a Porg on it. Mostly we went with this pin because the Porg reminds of us of Joy, which is really cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's but a really yeah. cool pin. It's got two Porgs. Two Porgs. Two porgs. And one, the wings move back and forth. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, it's a really cool pin. Fortunately, they do the color coding, color coding on yeah. these pins, so we don't know how much it was. I think they were all around like $12 to $15, yeah, though. Yeah, they were yellow and silvers, so I can just double check that. But... Silver, that was the one with the price. So yeah, so the silvers and then that one was a yellow. Yeah, probably was more than the silver though because it has like the moving Maybe. wings. Yeah. So there's one more thing that we got from the Halloween party that we forgot to mention. Well, it technically wasn't even the Halloween party. We bought it before the Halloween party started. Yeah, it was just on the same day that we were in uh, Magic Kingdom for the Halloween party or the yeah. not so scary, uh, Mickey's not so scary party. Yeah, so Dan had never had a Dole Whip before and it was kind of on his list of must do's. He yeah. was between getting a Dole Whip and the Red's Revenge. Unfortunately, Sunshine, Sunshine Tree Terrace was not open for the party. Yeah. We went around like 6.30, 6.45, so the <laughs> party was just about to start. Thankfully, Aloha Isle was open, yes. and we were able to get Dan a Dole Whip. He went with the Swirl. How yeah. did you like it? Um, I like the Swirl. I think I, for being my first Dole Whip, you know, I should have maybe just done just the, the pineapple flavor. Uh, but I did the pineapple and vanilla Swirl, which I liked because I was able yeah. to have a little bit of both flavors. Um, it was delicious. It does start melting really fast, like you'd expect, but I got it in this. You have a souvenir, souvenir tiki cup. Yeah, so I'll try to show you guys this. It's really cool. I saw this um, post, I think, on Disney food, food Blog before we went, and it's pretty much the size of like an 
a bowl that you would use to put yeah. ice cream in. So compared to my hand there. Yeah. So we figured it's a good purchase. He gets the Dole Whip and we get something to bring home. Yeah. And we can put ice cream in it when we're at home and kind of have that Disney feel while we're here. So yeah, we really like it. I mean, it's just plastic. It's not anything special, but it does say Disney Parks on the inside. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's really cool. I like it. Yeah. And so I guess back to pins. We did end up purchasing two pins when we went to the Galaxy's Edge annual pass holder previews. Yeah. The first being the limited release. I believe this one will be available when the land actually opens on August 29th. Um, it's BB-8 with the background of Batu, and it says Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Landing 2019. So definitely a cool pin to grab. Yeah, it's a cool one. I think the Millennium Falcon's flying through it as well. Yeah, so this one's $15.99. Again, we were go. able to use the annual pass holder discount. Star Wars is a limited release here on the bottom. And then the other pin that we picked up was a pass holder limited release. I'm imagining this will probably be available even when the land opens, but because we were there for like the pass holder preview, we definitely wanted to get like oh, the yeah. pass holder specific pin that they had. It's got the Millennium Falcon flying through it and it says landing 2019 Black Spire Outpost and some of the writing that's special to the land in the pin. So yeah. it's definitely really cool. So I don't know what that says, but we'll maybe... We'll have to translate it. Yeah, maybe... You and that's what this one looks like. Millennium Falcon zip it around the top there. Star Wars Landing 2019. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And this is the limited pass holder release. Yeah, definitely a cool pin to get. Oh yeah. Both we'll probably together. leave... I usually take pins off of the backing, but I think those two we should definitely leave <laughs> on the backing. I agree. Yeah. Should we get into the things that we got in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge? Yeah. Yeah. Got all the things. So we spent a lot of time in Batu. Yep. Um, we had the 11 a.m. entrance time for the very first day for the annual pass holder previews. Yep. And we decided to get to the park a little bit early because we didn't exactly know what we were doing for this trip. It was new to us. Yeah. Really... Disney really didn't release too much information. It was like basically just come with your annual pass hold, your like your annual pass mm -hmm. and the printout of the confirmation that you had an entrance and that was all they told us. <laughs> yeah, so we got there early. Uh, when we first walked up, we were about an hour early. We still didn't know what to do. Uh, the guy said come back at 11. So we walked off, bought some merchandise, which we'll share with you guys. And uh, once we were wrapped up with that, we noticed people lining up and they were starting to go in already. And this was at like 10, 15. Yeah. So we got right in uh, around 10, 15, 10, 30, probably after going through. So we got to spend a lot of time in our 11 to three time frame because we got in a little early. Yeah, I think we actually spent like from 10, 15 to 4 p.m. So yeah, roughly, because we they did. Weren't, yeah, they weren't telling you you had to leave. They mm -hmm. weren't checking it. So yeah. I don't think we'll ever get that kind of experience to be in Batu, no. walking around with there's not a million people <laughs> and we got to go on Millennium Falcon or the Smuggler's Run three yeah. times. So definitely really cool. But before we went in, so in that 15 minute time period that we thought we had to wait till 11 to get in, we actually went and bought the pins mm -hmm. and the shirt. Because yes. Dan wanted to have a shirt to wear while we were in the land. <laughs> so that was the one thing we made sure to go pick up. And this is the shirt. Yeah, very similar to the pin that we got. Yep, it's another landing 2019, uh, Black Spire Outpost, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, and it is a Disney shirt, so it does say Walt Disney World on the back there. And it was a pass holder exclusive, so oh, yeah. I forgot have, about that. Yep. it does have the pass holder stamp on the side there. On the side, that's on my left arm there. So it was really comfortable, wore that, yeah. you'll see guys see it in the videos. Yeah, so he had to have a shirt. And by the t literally by the time we walked up at 10, I think, to talk to the people, mm -hmm. they told us come back at 11. By the time we went and bought that shirt and the pins and he changed into the shirt, they were letting people in. So it was like very whirlwind, very quick turnaround. We were like, oh God, we, gotta get <laughs> we don't want to be late. So the first thing that they gave us when we walked in was the map specific to the land. Yeah. So we took two maps, obviously one for each of us, but we kept one in pristine condition. Because this is a preview map, so this should be different in certain ways, and the most notable is that it does say previews for August of 2019, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And I just realized, we just talked about being able to decode what that says. So yeah, we can, so we'll have to decode that. We can definitely do that, because there's a decoder on the back. Or let us know down below. If you screenshot <laughs> that and let, decode the pin, by all means. So yeah, it was just a little pamphlet with a map and then all the different locations, which was super helpful. We did have to reference this just so we could find our way around because yeah. Batu feels huge. Yeah, it's Absolutely very immersive. Huge. And 
for weird for me because we never need maps in Disney. I'm always <laughs> just like, go this way, go this way. So to be in somewhere yeah. in Disney and not know where I was going was strange. But the maps were good. The land, once you got your bearings, mm -hmm. was pretty easy to get around. But yeah, so I'm glad we kept one map in pristine condition, just as a memory and mm -hmm. yeah. So the first, one of the first things we did in Batu was go to Oga's Cantina because we were lucky enough to be one of the people that got the reservation for Smuggler's yeah. Run and the Cantina, which they gave us a time when we walked in to mm -hmm. go. We got there about 10 minutes early okay. and the Cantina was awesome. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. We were limited to, I think, 45 minutes and two drinks a person. Yes. And we obviously both got two drinks, <laughs> but on the counter or on the bar we walked in, they mm -hmm. had coasters, which of course, of course, we were like, okay, well, let's take a couple of these. We just took the coasters they gave us, so they're yeah. not mint condition. I think one of them got exposed to a little bit of water. Um, we didn't realize till we got home that the fronts are the same, but the backs of the coasters, they must have a couple different ones. We only have the two, um, and I'll go ahead and show you guys the backs. So there's the first one there, and then the second one. They're both really cool, um, and then they're both the same on the front there. Yeah, so I think we saw after the fact that there were four different designs. Yeah, there might be four, um, not confirmed, but we did see, we did some research on it, and it looked like there were four different ones, but I think those ones were from Disneyland, but they appear to be the same. Yeah, so, I mean, for only grabbing, I think we grabbed three, to mm -hmm. get two different variations was definitely cool and yeah yeah so that was like a free thing that i guess you could get from Oga's cantina yeah so for the four drinks that we got in Oga's cantina i went with the fuzzy tauntaun the best Fin fizz and dan got the slug slinger yep. and the souvenir beer flight yep. and prior to going to Oga's cantina we had heard disneyland's Oga's cantina had sold out of the souvenir beer flight yep. pretty early on so we weren't sure if we'd be able to get it, but we kind of figured if we could get it, we were going to. Yeah. We also weren't sure how the flight counted towards the two drink maximum, mm -hmm. which when we were in line, we asked, and if, of course they want you to spend more money, so it only counts as one drink, and it's yeah. only, what, four or four ounce? Each each flight or each um, beer was only four ounces, yeah. so four, four of those, it's just like a normal drink. Right, so we were happy to find out that we could try another drink. Mm -hmm. um, the Bespin Fizz and the Fuzzy Tauntaun were both really good. I would say the Fuzzy Tauntaun was like a pineapple kind of drink. Yeah. Had the foam that numbed your lips a little bit. A little bit and then yeah. the Bespin Fizz, I would say, was kind of like a cranberry vodka-y kind of taste. It was very good. I like cranberry vodka, so of course I would like it. The Slug Slinger was... I liked it. You liked it, but yeah. you like green juice. Exactly. So if you like green drinks or green yeah. juice, like, you know, a morning drink, something like that, yeah. it was a very... Green, Earth, drink. green tasting drink. <laughs> yeah. I really liked it. I, I guess everybody has their own personal preferences. Yeah. So hopefully that helps you. It they even have grass in it, so it's like a wheat grass type drink. Yeah. I, I don't know exactly, but it was good. I did yeah. enjoy. I think I enjoyed all the drinks. Yeah, we all. It wasn't anything we, we that I was all, like, oh, this is. The only thing I, I didn't try the beers, but we tried. Yeah, beers we shared the three fine. Uh, mixed drinks. So we did buy the souvenir <laughs> flight, and when you're done drinking, they bring you a wrapped up box. I think it was a new one, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So they didn't bring you the one that you had drinks all in, mm -hmm. but we have not opened it since we bought it. And we did carry it around Galaxy's Edge all oh, day. Dear. And we did put it in our suitcase on the way home, so we're gonna open it on camera and hope that it's still in one piece. We have no clue. I dropped this coming off Smuggler's <laughs> Run. It slid down the stairs. It got squished in our luggage a little bit on this end. So I'm gonna open it here right in front of you. Yeah, so bear with us. Can... Yeah, we wanna try to maybe, we're gonna try to get you guys there. Yeah. Get the cool, fancy open and preview for you, I hope, without either one of us. So this is a first for us. We really, I mean, it, we know what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. But we don't know what condition ours is in. So this is gonna be a true testament to the packing for everybody if you decide to get this. Um, so far, I'm impressed. Yeah, it's a lot of cardboard keeping it in place. Yeah, so everything then, looks like it's gonna be fun. Yeah. So I guess we'll open these guys up. Yeah. Do we need to cut? Nope. So these are, were they Rancor teeth? I think that's what they were called, yeah. Yeah. So these were Rancor teeth, there's four of them, um, and I'll unpack those, yeah. So yeah. if these survived, everything survived. Yeah, these were the things we were right definitely worry, worried about the most. Yeah. So we'll put everything together and show you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so 
So everything looks like it came, or, I mean, the packing was really good. Yeah. So, I mean, Dan did drop it down the stairs at Smokers oh, yeah. Run. Yep. And it was in our luggage. And you know they don't handle luggage with care at all. Not at all. We did kind of, in our luggage, I think we put some things around it. So oh, it would yeah. stay in the spot yeah. it was in. But, I mean, you never know. Yeah, so it's numbered one through four, because you do get the four drinks. Um, we don't know what this is made out of. It just feels like maybe a plastic or a resin. But it, it was really cold when we first opened it. So we're really not 100% sure, but what we did notice, and it'll be interesting to see on future releases if they continue this, is that these, or at least this one, does say first edition, Star Wars. So Galaxy's Edge um, branded, and everything made it. So I'm super excited. And so when you get your beer flight, they just include these teeth right in it. Do you want to show them a little bit of teeth up close? Yeah, so here's the teeth. It's got that cool design. They were really awesome. They have some good weight to them. Um, so it'll be really exciting to have drinks out of this. Even if you're just having one beer, you could just pour it among the four glasses for yourself and have a Galaxy's Edge experience or an Oga's Cantina's experience. Yeah, we so, do have a bar cart in our basement, like with yeah. our, in your man cave. So we thought it'd be really <laughs> cool to just even have this on the bar cart. Like, yeah. I don't know. This is awesome. I it mean, it's just an awesome... $85? 85 I think yeah. they upped it $10, if I'm not mistaken, from Disneyland. So instead of 75 it was 85 you did get to try four beers, but you're paying for one, but then you get to keep the souvenirs. So you kind of got to subtract the cost of what the drink would have been. And getting a flight of beers normally is around maybe $15 if you're in Disney. Yeah. Um, so not too bad for this. I would say it's worth it if it's something that interests you. If you like beer flights, if you like Star Wars and want to take something home, I was definitely impressed. It was a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. And while we were waiting or while we were drinking in Ovis Cantina we really didn't know if the flight included <laughs> just the wood part wood yeah, part or, or was it going to come with the teeth yeah and we were very excited when it came with the teeth so yeah. I think I don't know I think they probably could charge more than what they're charging I mean clearly they upped to yeah. ten dollars from Disneyland's because they knew that one sold out quickly mm -hmm. but I'm happy with the purchase. The only thing that stunk about buying it, because that was like one of the first things we did in yeah. the land, was that we had to carry that opera box around. Everywhere. And we probably could have asked if they could ship it to the front of the park while we were mm -hmm. in Ogos Cantina, but we didn't think about it. Yeah. And then we did try to go, I think, to the Droid Depot, and they were like, you can just go back to the Ogos Cantina and see if they'll <laughs> do it. I'm like, we can't get back in. They're not going to yeah. let us in to go see if we could ship this. So we were like, whatever, we'll just carry it. We just carried it. And so when we left Galaxy's Edge, we went to the front of the park and we did buy um, one of the reusable totes, Junkies. which is, yeah, we got the biggest one that they had and it's Hollywood <laughs> Studios themed. So I mean, it's a cool bag. Yep. Yeah, it's got Tower of Terror on there. It says Hollywood Studios. Yeah, and nice then bag. the other side is like the entrance to the park. Yeah. And it's got an at, -AT on it and Mickey Mouse. So yeah, definitely this a cool a purchase. Easier. Yeah, because the box perfectly fit in the bottom of that. Yeah. The bag that they gave us like a Disney bag and you couldn't hold the handles with the bag. So we ended up using the bag for something else. I think for other things we bought. Yeah. But if we would have had this, we probably would have been okay. We should have looked nicer. in the shops to see if they had a really big one. They probably did. They probably did. We just didn't see it. But it was really busy being the preview day yeah. at that time. So we, yeah. we were, uh, you know, just moving along, doing our thing, checking everything out. And we made it through. So it wasn't that inconvenient. No. And, and clearly it, it was strong enough because this thing like flew down a flight of stairs. <laughs> it was strong. But it also wasn't heavy. No, like it wasn't, it was just awkward. The box was awkward. Yeah. Um, but we did buy the bag thinking that we were going to be going to Epcot after Hollywood Studios. And then we had been in the sun so long that that so kind of didn't happen. So we might yeah. not have needed the reusable bag, but no. we'll use it here. I mean, eventually I think plastic bags are going to get outlawed. So it's definitely yeah. going to be nice to have a bag like that. Especially yeah. Disney. Yep. Yeah. So the other thing we got in Galaxy's Edge, which was very important for me, this was probably my number one thing that I wanted to get. <laughs> were the thermal detonators, which if you don't know, are just Diet Coke bottles or any of the Yes, so the Coca-Cola, Sprite, and Diet Coke are the three that I remember seeing. Yeah. Um, you can get them at the stands in the parks. They do have, which is really cool. So we actually brought them home, never opened these. These were not um, opened and they have removable tops. So if you wanted to drink this in the park yeah, and then just keep that you can because you know most people when they have a souvenir or a collector, bottle of any type they're afraid to open it because you break the seal and it's obvious but these do a really good job of covering that up mm -hmm. um, just be careful some of the thermal detonators or diet cokes mm -hmm. the top had popped off yeah, so we so almost bought one without like the top on it which yeah. that kind of makes it what it is so yes. just make sure i mean we bought one for us and then one for my brother yeah 
which we have not given to him yet. So. Yep. So one of these are mics. We got to give it to him. Yeah. And then these are what they look like. Really cool. Um, I think back. I wish I would have got a Coca Cola one, but that's okay. I thought these ones looked cooler, with the gray and the red. Yeah. Um, so we picked that up. Yeah, um, I think the Coke ones were just all red, weren't they? All red. Yep. Yeah. And then there was Sprite, which is obviously green. And then we are also very thirsty. They do have like the reusable yeah. fill up water stations that you can put mm -hmm. a water bottle in, which we fill. didn't bring. Yeah. We should have. But we did buy Dasani water while we were in Batu, and those are also themed. Also themed, a um, couple different ways. So Dasani's written in a different script there. So the Dasani's written in the, the different lettering, and then it also has that on the other side. So we brought these home. We did drink these, so I just refilled them with water. Yeah. Um, they look good that way. They didn't look that great empty if you plan on keeping it. So I figured we'll put something in there. You could obviously put coloring in there, something cool if you wanted to. So that was everything that we got in Galaxy's Edge Batu or the Black Spire Outpost. Um, we didn't buy too many other things. The one thing that was on my list of things that I definitely wanted to buy though was this new game. Well, not new game. So Disney came out with their own version of Perfection, which if any of you have ever played Perfection, it's basically where you push down on the game and you have to get all the pieces in before it pops up and yeah. i used to play this all the time with my cousins when we were really little at my grandpa's house and disney on my birthday came out with their version so i had to get it and it's all of like the park pieces um i think it's like the landmarks and mickey and it's just really cool i'll show you the back of that as well so this is what it's actually going to look like so it is in the shape of mickey it's pretty cool we have not opened it yet, but it was only yeah. um, $29.99? Yeah, $29.99 for this. We, Which, we and then I have the annual discount. pass holder discount. But for like a Disney themed game, I don't think that's that, that bad. No. Um, I haven't looked, we really want to get Monopoly eventually. Yeah. We didn't look at that price yet, but I think it's more money. But yeah, that was definitely like one thing that I really, really wanted to get. And I'm <laughs> so happy they had it. They had it right at our hotel, so we didn't have to like carry it around anywhere or yeah. lug it through a park so it definitely worked out for the best worked out pretty good and then the last thing that we got was actually at the halloween party which i kind of forgot yes. before before it started so haunted mansions i believe 50th anniversary for disneyland is this year but because disneyland's anniversary is this year magic kingdom and walt disney world are kind of celebrating too so they have lots of how or lots of Haunted Mansion themed merchandise. And if you saw our last haul video, we really liked the wishables that they had. And of course, they came out with a Haunted Mansion version. <laughs> so this time we didn't go as crazy. We only yeah. bought one bag. Mostly because I'm so worried that you'll get like two of the same one. And the last time we bought different versions of the wishables. Yeah. But let's see, what are the options we can get? There's an Ezra, which he is one of, I believe the Hitchhiking Ghosts. Phineas, another Hitchhiking Ghost. Constance, which he is like the Black Widow. I want her. Yeah, that's probably the one we would want the most. That's like Dan's favorite room in the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, it's awesome. And Hatbox Ghost, which Walt Disney World does not have a Hatbox Ghost, but because everything's like for Disneyland, that makes sense because their version has one. Gotcha. So are we going to open it up? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see, which one do you think it is? I told you. I told you. Oh. It's Ezra. Good enough. Yeah, it's cool. Joy, do you like Ezra? <laughs> she got really excited. <laughs> she got really excited. Oh, for me. Well, we basically gave her the other wishables as like yeah. toys, so she got a new toy. Do you want to show toy. Ezra? Yeah, so this is Ezra. Very pretty cool little guy. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah. I kind of wish we had bought two, but eh. that's okay. Maybe we are going time. back. We are going back September 9th which yeah. is like two weeks away from tomorrow. So very quick turnaround, but mm -hmm. we just really couldn't pass up this trip when they announced that they had the annual pass holder previews for Galaxy's Edge, mm -hmm. just because I can only imagine how busy the land is gonna be when it officially opens to the public. Yeah, I think that'd be really cool to see for, yeah. you know, we will have something to compare it to. Yeah. I think that'd be awesome. For yeah, us. I mean, I think it's gonna be a long time before we'll get on it three times in one day yeah. and like 30 minute waits. But even just the experience of getting to go in and getting like checked mm -hmm. in, I thought the whole thing, the whole weekend was really cool between doing the first Halloween party, the previews, going to Grand Destino Tower, which had only opened a month before. <laughs> like everything was a lot of really cool new experiences for yeah. us. So yeah, 
We hope you guys enjoyed our haul video and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Say bye, Joy. Say bye. Mwah. <laughs>